Thank you for your purchase of our Airbnb welcome book template. We've put this video together to help you to get started quickly. So to access the template, you're going to want to use the link in the post purchase PDF as shown here. Here's just one of the examples of the welcome books that we've provide. There's a link for the welcome book and a link for the bonus signs at the bottom of this page. You can also choose between letter or A4 format. If you don't already have a Canva account, just simply sign up for one. It's free. If you already have an account after you click the template link, you just want to sign in. There are also instructions in the PDF document if you prefer to read them instead of watching this video. If you're not already familiar with Canva, I'm going to show you how you can edit this template. Let's start by changing a photo. Let's say I want to replace this cover top image and let's go into my uploads as you can see here and to simply add photos to your library all you have to do is drag them in from wherever you have them. So once I find an image let's just say I like this wood pattern here I'm going to drag it over and then right over onto that photo placement box. It's just that simple. And then let's just say I don't like this part of the image showing with this sort of naughty wood portion. I can just double click the image box and then you can see it kind of opens up and then I can just simply drag and move it to a different part of the photo and then just click off of it. Now let's update the font. So here I'm going to click on this welcome text and then up here in the upper left hand corner, you're going to see a font drop down menu. I'm going to click on that and it reveals another menu. What you may notice is that some fonts are grayed out or they have a crown icon next to it. What that means is that you're going to need a Canva Pro account to use those fonts but any of the ones without that can be used for free. So here I'm just going to pick a font that I used before and if I click on that you can now see that it has edited in the template. All right now that we've updated a font and we've edited a photo let's go ahead and change some colors. So here you just want to simply click on whatever piece you want to edit the color. Here I'm going to click on this bottom bar and if I look in the upper left hand corner I can see this color swatch has appeared. This basically shows the current color of the selected item. I can then just click on the color swatch. It opens up this menu and then here I'm just going to click this light color and then you can see it's changed. I can also click this plus sign and I can pick any other color from the spectrum. But if I have my own colors for my, my style or for my brand, I can add the hex or the hexadecimal value here. Also, if you plan to use any of the bonus signs, the editing pretty much works the same like what I just showed you for this welcome book. Let's go over some other helpful tips. So if you need to edit the color of any of the icons, so here are some at the bottom of this page, all I'm going to want to do is just click on the icon and then same thing up here in the left hand corner, you'll see the swatch of the icon color. I click on that swatch and then here I'll be able to click any color that I want to change that icon to. So let's click there and you can see now the icon is this color. Other icons or check marks could be made up of two colors. I'm going to find one quickly here as I scroll through this document. So here's an example of a page with two colored icons. So if I click on this icon, now you're going to see that there are two colors shown up here in the upper left hand corner. One represents the background color 
and one represents the foreground color. So let's click on the background color and then let me change that color. And then what you're gonna wanna do is then click on the other swatch and then click on the color that you wanna change it to. Once your booklet is complete and you're ready to publish, you want to go up here in the upper right hand corner to this share button. So I'm going to click on that. And then from the share button, you're going to want to come down here to this download option. You'll see now that there's a file type menu up here. And from here, I'm going to want to click on the menu. And if you're only going to use the document digitally, you can simply click here on the PDF standard and then click download. And that's all you need to do if you're going to use the file digitally. Now, if you're going to want to print it out, you want to come back up to this file type menu and you're going to want to click PDF for print. Now, if you're going to print things out at home, I suggest you using higher quality photo or project paper because the colors when you print them will come out better. Also, it'll really depend on what kind of printer you own, but some printers will have a borderless printing option. If you don't have this, just know that your pages will print out with a white border around it, really because of the limitations of your printer. Now, if you're gonna send the file out to print, there are a couple things that the printer may ask you to do. One, they may ask for a crop mark. So here you can see there's an option if I click it to add crop marks and bleed. All that adds uh, is the extra printing area around the document and the lines for where the printer should cut. So you just have to simply click that. The other thing the printer may ask you to do is they may ask you to change the colors or the color profile from RGB, as you can see here in this menu, to CMYK. Now, if I click on this menu, you can see that the CMYK option is only available if you have a pro Canva account. But that's OK. There's ways to get around that. What we can do is ask our printer if they can actually change the color profile for us from RGB to CMYK. And if you're not able to, all you simply want to do is just do an online search for an RGB to CMYK PDF converter, and you'll probably find free tools out there that can do that for you. We want to thank you again for your purchase of our Airbnb welcome book template. If you have any questions or run into any issues, please reach out and we'll try to answer your questions. Feel free to reach out to us at the email address on this page. If you like this product, please leave a review and share your experience with others. Thank you so much and cheers.